Right, um, good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is Anthony Carpen here with Puffles the Dragon Fairy, Phil Rogers and Hannah Olsen. Hello. So this is kind of like the Cambridge Mini Media Massive here. Um, and I'm just going to do a quick um, interview piece with, with Phil here. Phil who's kind of the um, statistical brains behind everything election wise here um, in Cambridge. First of all, the national picture. What are your thoughts? Well, it's all looking a little bit confused at the moment. It's still reasonably early days. We haven't seen a vast majority of the seats come in yet. It's really, I think, going in line pretty much with the exit poll, but um, things are changing. There's quite a lot of variety from, uh, from one place to the next. And the main story is what's happening to the UKIP vote, which has really collapsed, and, and it's all about where that vote has gone. Um, the Conservatives are perhaps picking up less of it than they were expecting and uh, a bit more has gone back to Labour. So um, a good night for Labour but they're still not heading for victory. Right. Um, and one of the things we've seen certainly with the results coming through at this stage and it's just gone, we're coming up to two in the morning and the results so far seem to be quite volatile, don't they? Yes, that's right. Well, it's a little bit, it's uh, gone half past two in the morning now, I think. Um, but. Uh, Yes, we're still we're still sort of seeing them all come in, um, the re but we really don't have the overall pattern yet. And we could be into hung parliament territory, or maybe things will pick up for the Tories as, as the night goes on. It's a bit misleading um, the current position because Labour held seats tend to declare a bit quicker because they tend to be in the larger cities. Um, so those those come in a bit quicker, being more compact areas. So there's not so met, so. Uh, large rural areas for the uh, ballot boxes to be brought in over. Now, here in Cambridge, we saw these two huge electoral machines coming head to head, the Liberal Democrats with Julian Huppert, MP between 2010 and 2015, and Daniel Zeichner for the Cambridge Labour Party, MP between 2015 to the current election. You've been out about... You've been out, you've been out, out, out and about on the campaign trail. We've just had a call for agents um, to come to the stage. I think that's Andrew Lim, who I used to work with in the civil service many moons ago. Yes, that means we probably are getting a result fairly soon now. Interesting. What's been your experience of the campaign trail? Well, I think the, the extraordinary thing is, um, usually during, certainly during local elections, when I see campaigners out and about, um, usually I, I know most of them, um, either personally or, or by reputation at least, um, in, in uh, local politics, but the thing that really struck me today going around the city was just how many campaigners there were uh, out on the street that, are, that I just didn't recognise who obviously come in to support one candidate or the other for uh, um, just for this election. And there have been huge numbers of campaigners for, for both the main parties in Cambridge, Labour and the Lib Dems. And predictions? Well, at the moment, it's looking very much like a Labour, a Labour hold with an increased majority. Uh, exactly how increased, we'll, we won't know until the results are declared shortly. Phil Rogers, thank you very much. Thank you.